Hey, welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing. Thanks for stopping by if this is your first time coming to the channel. Today we're talking about plastics. How do you store them? How do you transport them? How do you keep them organized so that you know what colors to grab, what styles of baits to grab, and can easily access them? We're hopefully gonna help you solve that problem today. We've got a few solutions that are out on the market right now that are very inexpensive and just gosh dang work. So we'll try a few things. As always, if you guys have other thoughts, ideas, or things that you do that work really well, hit me up in the comments below. And of course, if this is your first time stopping by the channel or you haven't subscribed before, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, and ring that notification bell so that you know when I post more videos, lots more content coming your guys' way. Let's get right into it. Plastics are a pain, right? Organizing them is a pain. I have this wall behind me. It's a pain. It changes every single week. And I'm sure you guys are experiencing the same things. You know that in order to keep your plastics in good condition, you need to keep them in their original packaging. Sometimes packaging doesn't really work out the way you want it to. Hashtag big bite baits cut this out. Uh, and there's no peg hole here. And it's hard to just hang them anywhere. Once you tear it open, you can't hang it on anything. You gotta store it in a container. So what's the solution? Today we're gonna talk about a few different options. Number one. Put it in a normal plastic bin. Let me show you guys a couple options. All right, so with plastic containers, you can go big or you can go small or something in between, right? So these are what I would call small. You can get a whole bunch of these. This is a hefty, I don't, I don't know what, uh, but it's just go to your local like grocery store, hardware store, you know, whatever store is near you guys, they'll have these, right? So go to the storage section, pick out some of the clear containers with the snap on lids so that you can keep your plastic stored really well. I liked these hefty ones because they held a decent chunk of bait. So we take like, take a couple worms. So we got some Sankos and they fit in there pretty much perfectly, right? And once you pack this up, they all stand upright and it looks really good. Uh, it's just easier for you to access from the top. And you know, it's a watertight container. So if you were to take it on a boat or something, it'd be fine. So that's a good option. And if you go with the small ones, you can stack them up like so. They don't take up a ton of room in your fishing area, right? Those worked for me up until recently. And you can see I had them like, they're all crossed out. You can label them and then you can cross it out and you just change that label. I have a Hobie Pro Angler kayak and I could fit three of these side by side right underneath the seat. So that works for a time. I've since changed that to this much bigger rig here so that I can take just one container with me. Now, mind you, unless you're tournament fishing and even if you're tournament fishing, you don't really need this many plastics with you at one time, I get it. Uh, but this is just a collection of the plastics that I would use, right? And we've got the different variants in here too. So I keep it divided out. We've got like your bigger shaky head worms on one end like Guggen, Sixth Sense, uh, Plasma Tail, Biospawn is in here. Uh, and then we get into like your Senko style in the middle, right? So I've got it di divided out where I can find them really easily. And then I can just pick whatever color I wanna use, um, you know, or brand or whatever. Further down the line here, we get into your creature style baits. So we've got some crawl pattern options. We've got, uh, you know, bandito bug, different bugs, beaver style baits are all up in here. And then off on the side here, I was able to just like push these into the side. We've got all of our swim baits. So things like your plasma tails, uh, another big bite baits right in there, Kytex, things like that. And that works really well. So this takes up less space than the three of these did underneath my kayak seat. If you guys have under seat storage, you might go for something like that. If you don't, then maybe you go with one of these, you put it in the front hatch of the kayak, or if you have a bass boat, you probably don't care that much. You have plenty of room. You just get a whole bunch of these and you just stock that sucker full of them. That's a good option too. But what happens if you're not going out on a big spacious kayak or if you're bank fishing? That's where we come up with some other solutions. So the bins, they're cheap. 
They're watertight, they can store anywhere, they don't take up a lot of space. You can usually put them under kayak seats or on any boat, you're gonna have plenty of room for these. But if you guys are bank fishing, let's check this out. I recommend going with something like the Bass Mafia money bags. What you can do with the money bag is you can take basically as many baits as you want. I'm doing this for you guys, disorganizing my whole section here. I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of these. Your stuff are full. Some of these. And we're just taking the whole arsenal to the lake, huh? Let's grab some drop shot stuff. Okay, cool. All right, so anyways, what do I got in here? I got. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, about 16, 78, 18, 19, 20. Let's take the hook with us too, why not? There you go. That's it. Pretty slim still, not gonna take up a lot of room. This is something where you, you, you can zip it up, fold her down, squeeze the air out of it. That's gonna fit right into your backpack, no problem. So a ton of baits just went right into that easily and it doesn't take up a lot of weight so you can take this if you're taking a kayak toss this wherever you're putting your other tackle boxes put it in the back storage front storage uh, just between your feet if you're in like a sit inside you've got plenty of room for this so this would be awesome and it's also watertight so not that it matters too much if your baits get wet but if you don't want water just sitting in this thing we have a ziploc seal right so we can zip that up which is Pretty easy, listen for that snap. And now we are water and air tight. Okay, you guys can see that, works really well. Throw in the zipper for a little added protection and we're good to go. That's a great option. That's probably my favorite option. So we'll start, we're starting with the best this week, right? So Bass Mafia money bag is money. Next option, I would go, if we go from best to worst here, uh, we'll top down it this week, change it up, shift gears. We're gonna go with a worm binder, right? This is one option, this is a Cabela's worm binder. Uh, I know there's like a, a, a Strike King KVD bag, the speed bag I think it's called, is probably better than this. Uh, the speed bag actually opens from the top and it, it would basically accomplish more of the result that these did for me, right? I went for these because they were too, to five dollars a piece so they're just cheaper than kvd's bag whatever uh for the cabela's bag this one was i think 10 bucks it's really not that bad uh and i've had it for a long time and it works really well so what we've got here is we've got a front storage area. oh what you guys i've been looking for these steel leaders <laughs> i could have used these for ice season are you freaking kidding me all right well great we got this front pouch, which is where you can store things and lose them and forget about them forever. And then we've got the inside, more important, which is where you store your little binding section. Now, this does come with a two ring binding setup. I'll tell you why I don't use it, because it sucked. Uh, so if you guys have this or you were going to use something like this, just take the little rings out. You don't need it. Uh, they end up getting like offset and then they don't close properly. And then you can't really like use this thing the way it's meant to be used. So I just took them out and I took all the little sleeves, which these are nice, by the way, I really like these. Um, and I just throw them right inside and it works perfectly fine. I do like these uh, little envelope sleeves here, whatever you want to call them, these dividers. They work really well, got a nice zipper. They're heavy duty, like it's not gonna fall apart, right? There are other worm binders out there where it's just a plastic bag. And they sell tons of replacement bags and all of that, but if those tear, that's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, right? So if you don't wanna deal with that, just get this one. It really wasn't, it was pretty cheap. It's like 10, 14 bucks maybe. Uh, and then we get all these, these are replaceable. It comes with too many, to be honest. Like if you fill these with any number of baits, uh, I think it came with, we have what, six, five here? I have five in use, I think it came with eight. <laughs> You're never gonna use all of those. Uh, but this allows you to divide things out. So I have like some drop shot options here. We have tubes for the smallies because they love them. Uh, we have, is this my little creature baits? Yeah, we have like little creature baits like, uh, dude, I just picked these up, these little rage tails. Those are awesome. Uh, and then this is the Ned 
worm, which has got a little tail on it. That's pretty cool. And then I've got a bunch of the like Z-Man turd hogs and stuff like that. So my micro creatures that I'll probably throw on like a jig head, Ned rig, stuff like that. So we got that. Drop shots with uh, paddle tails, Neds. And we just squish them all in there. This thing, it stretches. So we have sort of like fabric on the back that's more flexible than this fabric, right? Uh, neoprene, I think. Yeah, that's neoprene. So it's got room to expand, okay? So you can pack this full of, you know, just some of your favorite baits. In this case, these are, this is more of a finesse binder for me. And then it's got a heavy duty zipper. Zippers never let me down. Holds up really well. So next option on the list, if we go from that money bag next, money bag was great. Again, heavy duty plastic on that money bag is gonna hold up really well. Next best option, just because of the, a uh, little is a little more constraining the space in this. And you know, you can see how thick this is versus the money bag. Yes, you gotta be a little more specific with the baits you're bringing, but if you kind of like know your waters a little bit, I'd be confident with the money bag. This is gonna hold way too many baits for a day on the water, especially if you know where you're going. Uh, but it's a good option, right? So again, Cabela's worm binder or whatever worm binder you wanna go with. This is just probably one of my favorites. The KVD is nice. It's a lot bigger than this. Uh, so it's gonna take up more space than this would. This would fit into a backpack easier if you're bank fishing. If you are in a smaller kayak with not a lot of storage, this could work, this could work pretty well and you could bring a decent number of plastics. So from there, let's jump into uh, an even slimmer option, but this is far less ideal. So, so far, all the options we've been using maintain the original packaging of the plastics. So you're going to have them stay together like paddle tails are not popping apart, you know, breaking plastics, tearing plastics, um, they're losing their scent or stretch or something like that, uh, or buoyancy, right? So next option is not ideal, but it's still an option. And I showed you guys this in uh, you know, my tackle box buyer's guide video. This is just a basic cheap tackle box, tackle tray, and we have a ton of worms in there. Now, I usually use this, oh look, there's a hook in there, cool. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't throw my hand at that. Uh, just wacky rig ready, let's go summer. Um, so I usually use this to just toss in the plastics that I've already used. They end up usually in my little boat tray, my boat bin and then I toss them into this. And this is something that I know I can take with me in a backpack and I've got, you know, most of the things I need. I can wacky rig, Texas rig, Nico rig, any of these things in here. That covers a lot of my good options on my waters. Uh, we got a couple of, you know, craw creature style baits in there that we could throw as well. For whatever reason, we have an eliminator. You guys catch fish on these things? I haven't caught fish on this thing yet. Kind of want to, but what you're gonna notice if you do this, if you're storing all these plastics together is that one, some plastics don't go together. So for one, you never want a Z-Man plastic with their Elastec to be in this box with other normal plastics because they'll all melt together. I've actually had this happen with probably like 10 baits all in one box and I just, opened it one day and I had this giant puddle of plastic goop, just like some freak creature that was spawned from the monstrosity that is Z-Man Plastics. Uh, so don't do that. And then you're also gonna notice that they lose a little bit of their plasticity here. They get a little, little stretchy. That could be good for the action, maybe, I don't know. Um, if anything says it comes stocked with like scent or these bio scents and things like that, the bass attractants that could be impacted by storing all these together. And then of course you just get broken baits here and there. So that happens too. Something you just have to be ready for, but this is probably your slimmest option if you're looking to toss this into a small kayak or a backpack. So if you're hitting the bank, it's probably your best bet. Pick out your favorite plastics, toss you know two or three of them in here of each, and you're good to go. Uh, money bag, still my top option, still my favorite place to go because I can throw them in in their original packaging and I know I've got some plastics that are gonna work for me. I can bring like 20 bags of plastics if I want to. That means I have plenty when I hit the water. If I lose a few, we're okay. Uh, so this is as good as it gets for just a small profile option. Uh, and then obviously for the big profile, 
You guys can go with the, the Hefties, the Hefty Central, uh, these well-designed packages. Honestly, what I did, that was the wacky rig hook, no biggie, is I just took one of these guys and I went to the store and I just compared every single box until I found one that was like the right dimensions. I mean, or you could measure them, up to you, whatever you wanna do. Uh, just recognizing that you're gonna have different dimensions for your big baits, right? So we compared the two of those. So I was looking for something that could fit this and or this, and you might be able to get both in there. So this fits this way in here, and this fits this way in here. See where I'm going with this? So you can pile this up. You could also swap these and go this way. So what that means is you can store a decent amount of both of these different sizes, which is cool. So these are good multi-use, multi-purpose bins. You can see how beat up they are. I've been using them for a while. I like them a lot. I have not gotten this on the water yet, but the ice is gone. So we're gonna do that very soon. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you're trying to find some good plastic solutions. Number one, always try to keep those plastics in the bag they came in best possible thing you can do. Number two, just find a storage solution that works for you. If you're hitting the bank, if you have a small kayak with no storage, money bags all day long. The other options are cool. Just do this. They're not expensive. Well, it's a bag. I get it. It's 10 bucks, but it's heavy duty. It has a tight Ziploc to water uh, make it watertight. You got the zipper. This thing is money. That's why it's called a money bag. And if you have a ton of room, like if you're a sit on top kayak with a raised seat like I have, and you have storage underneath, or you just have a big storage area in the front or the back, go with this guy or one of these. All right. That's it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when I post more videos. You got a ton of new content coming your guys' way uh, because it's it's the season. It's time, man. The ice is gone. It's time to go fish. Stay tuned for the Burly Fishing Podcast as well. It's going to be dropping every Saturday morning. Uh, I don't know what time yet, but just go check it out. iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you guys get podcasts. And as always, you can hit me up on social media at Burly Fishing on Instagram. Facebook.com backslash Burly Fishing is our page. And we will see you guys out on the water.